So I'm out again, all by myself, uh, parked in the parking lot at the gym where I'm still allowed to walk the outside track. And I think I'll try to do that in a few minutes. I wish the weather would get a little nicer here, but um, I wanted to talk about the difference between visualizing with intention and daydreaming. Um, Cause I think there's a range between straight up daydreaming and hardcore intention. Um, and there has to be enough intention in your visualization for it to do anything, I think. Um, the point of the visualization, I think, is to shift your mentality. Um, and daydreaming will not do that. Daydreaming is like watching a movie that's playing in your mind. Um, but so let's say on, on one end of the spectrum is just pure fantasy, just pure daydreaming. Um, no intention to make anything real, just passing the time or whatever reason people do that. I don't spend a lot of time daydreaming, um, but so, you know, back when I didn't believe that I could create whatever I wanted, I, I did it more. Um, just for fun, I guess. And then let's say all the way on the other end where it, there is no element of daydreaming and it's pure intention, you know, that I think you can relate to, say, the things that you go about doing in your day-to-day -day life that you already are convinced you have no reason to doubt you can make happen, like getting up, getting in your car, going to work, um, you know, lifting your arm up to scratch your face. Um, don't do that right now. I could not help myself. Um, <laughs> you know, things like that. I always say to people who don't, I think, quite grasp what this is all about, that all you really have to do is Think about something that you do regularly and think about the process you use to do that and that is the same process pretty much that is used for creating something that maybe you don't see a way to it's very similar so if you think about if you're somebody who goes out and buys dinner for yourself every night or makes dinner at home you come to that decision somehow you think about what you want you kind of imagine some different options probably, or you imagine what you have available and you say, okay, I'm going to do that. And then you do that. That's, that's the most pure example of visualizing, deciding, intending, and then creating. And that is something that, you know, we fully believe is within our power to do. And we do it all the time. Um, and so as you start moving, you know, towards the middle of the spectrum between daydreaming and just full on intention without any aspect of um, sort of uh, on the what are you going to eat for dinner? Go make it happen. There's no daydreaming about dinner. You know what I mean? You just decide what you're going to have. You think about it and there's no doubt that you're going to get it. Whereas with a, with a fantasy, it's, there's so little intention or so little, it's so purely in the realm of fantasy that, you know, there's almost none of that there. There's almost none of that intention. It's just, it's like on the, it's like the polar opposite. And so when you go to, you know, uh, choose something or create something or however you want to phrase it, it's a mixture of the two. And I think a lot of people probably struggle because there's, there's a feeling, at least for me, and the only reason I'm making this video is because I want to try to describe it. I don't think anyone can really give you an exact formula for how to create a feeling or I'm not sure anyone can really 
tell you how this would feel for you. But for me, when I am visualizing something that I intend to have happen, there is a very distinct feeling about it. And it's very much like anything else that I intend to do that isn't quite within my grasp. Like, for example, um, I never finished my bachelor's degree and I haven't taken a class in 18 years. And I have um, about a third to go. So at some point, I think I'm probably gonna do that. <clears throat> I don't need it for any reason, like other than just to have it and for the 80 credits or whatever I have, not to just go to completely to waste. Um, but when I think about that, that is something that is completely within, you know, it appears to be within the realm of my control, right? I can figure out the steps I need to take to get enrolled. I can figure out what I have to do to complete the degree. It's not something I can get up, go drive in my car. I can't go buy my degree, you know, through a fast food restaurant or whatever. But, you know, there's, there's things that have to happen that I'm not quite sure about, but I'm confident that I can make that happen, right? Um, it's the same kind of feeling for me when I get uh, something into my head that I want to make happen um, where I can't see the steps exactly, where I don't know, like, call the school and get my transcript and meet with, you know. Um, it's the same sort of feeling. Um, you know, I, there's, there's sort of a feeling in my solar plexus, like, I have the intention and I start to feel a draw, like a pull, um, where I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, it's, it's sort of, um, a gut feeling in a way. And it can be easy, I think, when visualizing, um, you know, if you, if you decide you want something to happen and you choose a scene that has indicated that it's already happened and that's what you choose to visualize and focus on, it can be easy to just think of that scene without having that feeling of intention. And it's when you combine those two that things go into motion, I believe. Um, all I really have is what I do and the results that I have to prove that, I guess. Um, so, you know, some of this is like, this is my best guess for how this works, but I can tell you that um, for sure, whenever I intentionally visualize an outcome, um, I make absolutely sure to, in some way, infuse that visualization with that feeling of intention and that feeling of, I'm going to make this happen. Like you're striking a match and lighting a fuse on something, you know, that's going to burn down and, um, and end with your scene coming true. It's really hard to articulate stuff like that, like lighting a fuse. I'm not even sure why that just came to mind, but that's kind of how I've done it. Um, and I've done some visualization where I realized after the fact that I was just kind of fantasizing and I hadn't intended. Um, sometimes at the end, if I'm thinking about something um, pleasurable, especially, and I get a little lost in it, at the end of it, I just sort of say, you know, make this happen, like, and then I get that feeling, even just saying, make this happen. I got that feeling I was describing, like, um, um, I don't know. I don't think that this will probably speak to everybody, but I bet it'll speak to somebody. Um, throughout posting these videos, you know, I get a few people here and there almost every time that, um, either email me or comment or whatever that, um, you know, whatever weird thing I was trying to articulate made sense. So, um, it would be, it, it's, it's always a good idea, I think, to look at how you do things because you're already doing all of this every day. Everyone is. Um, and you have a specific way that you do do things. Um, and the key is figuring out how you do things. Like, 
this is all a grand journey um, of getting to know yourself and how you work, at least for me. Um, you know, I've gotten to know myself more throughout the last five months probably than, you know, in years prior to that. Just because you, you, you have to kind of deconstruct how you work uh, if you want to learn how to use what you already do naturally to do things bigger and better than, than what you've done in the past. Um, hope this made sense or helped anybody. I got a text this morning, just as an aside, I'm a little shell shocked today. I spent this morning um, sort of thinking about all the events that are going on and I started thinking, I can't believe that the world economy is just essentially going to crash over what's going on. This is insane. Um, I just can't believe kind of what I'm living through right now. And, uh, you know, I started thinking, is this really like, does it really need to be this way? Um, you know, have the actions that have been taken been the right ones? And uh, I, I have a friend who is a nurse who works in New Jersey, um, a, a man. And I texted him this morning and I said, hey, I heard you're working, How you know, I, um, I'm sure I'm the thousandth person to text you, but you know, what's going on? How, how's everything going? And he replied in all caps, on purpose, obviously, in all caps, all I can say is that by the end of this, we will all personally know someone who has died alone on a ventilator. So, um, I'm going to tell you that blew my mind and kind of, um, set the tone for my day. Um, it's really perplexing to me. Like, I'm not sure what I should do mentally with this because I really don't think that anything that's happening is out of the realm. I mean, I, I really think that you're constantly switching around between parallel realities and I'm choosing this somehow for some reason. And I just don't, I don't quite know what to do with it. No one I know is affected other than, um, my nurse friend, um, who may have it. Uh, I just, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to keep driving to the gym and making videos and until something comes to me about what I should do in terms of what, if I should mess with what seems to be a bridge of incidents by trying to select something else or I don't know. Anyway, um, have a good day.